So here's the thing about Adobe Firefly. This tool came out of nowhere and immediately caught my attention. Not because I'm some hardcore graphic designer, but because I'm always looking for tools that can actually speed things up or make content creation easier without sacrificing quality. And Firefly had potential. I had heard all the usual buzzwords. Generative AI, text-to-image, commercial safe, Adobe integration, you know the drill. But I didn't want to just watch polished promos or listen to hype from people who already live in Photoshop to about 12 hours a day. I wanted to know what it's like to actually use this thing from the perspective of someone who builds, creates, experiments, but isn't trying to win design awards. So I made an account, opened the site, and started testing it out. No tutorials, no setup, just jumped in. First impressions? Surprisingly smooth. Everything's in browser, so there's nothing to install. You get dropped right into a set of tools. Text to image, text effects, generative fill, and now even some video and vector stuff. It's very choose your adventure. The text to image feature is probably where most people start. You type in a prompt like a futuristic city built on waterfalls or hand-drawn dinosaur eating ramen, and Firefly generates it in a few seconds. The results range from shockingly good to weirdly off, but that's kind of the fun. You quickly learn that how you write your prompts really affects what you get. The more descriptive and intentional you are, the better the output. It doesn't just guess, you guide it. But what really impressed me was how usable the images are. This isn't just eye candy. The resolution is good, the details are sharp, and for someone working on thumbnails, mock-ups, or even light branding, this could actually save you hours. Then there's the generative fill tool, which takes it up a notch. If you've ever used Photoshop's content-aware fill, this feels like that, but way smarter. You can erase something from an image and replace it with exactly what you want just by typing it in. Add a campfire here, or replace the sky with a sunset, and it blends surprisingly well. And yeah, Adobe's big selling point is that Firefly is trained only on licensed or public domain content. So technically, the outputs are considered commercially safe. That's huge if you're someone who cares about copyright or uses assets in professional work. Now there is a catch. Adobe uses a system called generative credits. You get a certain number of credits per month, depending on your plan. Free users get a limited amount, which is enough for basic testing. But if you start generating high-res images or more complex edits, you'll burn through them quickly. So depending on how much you create, you might end up needing a paid plan. I'm still on the free version for now, and it's honestly enough to get a good feel for what the platform offers. I've already generated dozens of test images, played around with text styles, and even tried a bit of the vector feature, which, by the way, integrates straight into Illustrator if that's your thing. But here's the honest part. Firefly's not magic. It doesn't replace design talent, and it's not going to do everything for you. What it does do is give you a creative boost. It speeds up the ideation phase. It gives you visual direction fast. And for a lot of creators, that alone makes it worth exploring. So in this video, I want to walk through what it's like to actually use Adobe Firefly today. What's good, what's frustrating, and whether it's something you should actually spend time on. Not from the perspective of someone who lives in Creative Cloud 24-7, but as someone who creates with purpose, who wants tools that pull their weight. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters most. So let's talk about the parts of Adobe Firefly that aren't quite as polished, because yeah, for all the things it gets right, there are still a few rough edges worth calling out. First up, the video generation features. Adobe's been teasing some pretty exciting stuff, like the ability to extend video clips using AI, translate voiceovers while keeping your original tone, or generate audio from scratch. Some of those tools are already rolling out in apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects under beta labels. But here's the honest truth. A lot of that is still experimental. You can test it out and sometimes it works really well. Other times, not so much. Don't expect to build your entire workflow around it yet. Then there's the prompt sensitivity. Firefly's image generation is fast, but it's not always consistent. You could type something super simple and get a brilliant, high quality visual, or you could write a detailed prompt and end up with something that looks off, generic, or just weirdly unrelated. It doesn't always respond the way you expect, 
which means you'll spend a bit of time figuring out what types of language the model responds best to. For example, I, I noticed that abstract concepts like freedom or tension don't always land well on their own. But if you describe specific objects, settings, colors, or camera angles, you'll get much better results. It's kind of like learning to speak the tool's language, and that takes practice. The interface itself is clean and easy to use, but it's also fairly stripped down. That's great for accessibility, but if you're looking to fine-tune details or control more of the output, like aspect ratio, lighting style, or advanced settings, Firefly doesn't give you as much flexibility as something like mid-journey or stable diffusion. You trade some depth for ease of use, and while the free version is definitely solid, there's a generative credit system in place that you need to keep an eye on. Each action you take, whether it's generating an image, filling in part of a photo, or trying one of the vector or text tools, uses up credits. Once you're out, you either wait for the monthly reset or upgrade to a paid plan. That's where things get a little tricky. Adobe's paid tiers are mostly reasonable, especially if you're using Firefly professionally. But if you're just dabbling or testing things out, you might burn through your credits faster than expected, especially when you're experimenting with different prompts and edits. That said, Firefly's strongest selling point is still its commercial safety. It was trained on licensed Adobe stock images, Creative Commons materials, and public domain content. So you don't have to worry about copyright infringement or sketchy data scraping practices, which have become a real concern in the AI art space. You can actually use what you generate in Firefly for client work, branding, thumbnails, social posts, you name it, without constantly second-guessing whether it's safe. And even though I mentioned some limitations earlier, there's one thing that keeps me coming back. Speed. When I'm brainstorming visual ideas for content or trying to prototype something fast, Firefly cuts my time in half, I can generate image variations, test out color palettes, try different themes, all in minutes. That kind of rapid feedback loop is incredibly helpful if you're doing creative work on a tight schedule or trying to explore multiple directions at once. So yeah, Firefly has its flaws. The video tools need more development, the credit system takes a little getting used to, and the image outputs, while often stunning, aren't always perfect. But here's the big picture. For a tool that's still relatively new, it's already delivering serious value, and the pace of improvement is fast. Adobe's clearly investing heavily in Firefly, and it shows. More features are coming, integrations are getting tighter, and the tools are becoming more refined with each update. So, is it worth using right now? Absolutely. Especially if you're a creator who wants to move faster, test ideas visually, and explore concepts without always starting from scratch. Firefly isn't here to replace good design, it's here to support it. It gives you momentum. It gives you direction. And honestly, even if you're not a designer by trade, it's fun just to mess around with it and see what's possible. Whether you're building content for your brand, designing a project for a client, or just curious about where creative tools are heading, Adobe Firefly is worth your time. You don't need to master it to get value out of it. You just need to start using it. And in a world where speed, creativity, and originality are everything, that's a huge advantage.